Good afternoon. Good afternoon and a happy new year. Y y you know, uh, it should be a vacation day, but uh, we have a special treat, so I hope uh, it's okay to be out here on, uh, on Chinese New Year. So welcome distinguished guests, students, faculty, and friends to this very special event, the fourth annual Ernest S. Ku Distinguished Lecture. Each year, the Ku Lecture brings an outstanding leader in technology and engineering to our campus. We are honored to have launched the series with a talk by Intel co-founder Andy Grove, followed by Bill Sullivan, CEO of Agilent, and continue building this tradition of excellence with our 2014 Ku Lecturer, Sehat Sutarja, and our 2015 Ku Lecturer today, Wayne Dai. This year's student co-sponsor for the Ku Lecture is the Berkeley chapter of the National Electrical and Electrical Engineering and Computer Engineering Honor Society, Ada Kappa Nu. Those are the folks in the engineering shirts in the back, so thank you all very much. This wonderful lecture series was endowed through the generosity of Ernie and Bettine Ku. The Ku family is here today. Ernie is recuperating and is not able to be with us uh, here today, but Bettine is here. Ernie was uh, dean of the college from 1973 to 1980, and he's been a national leader in engineering education throughout his career. He is professor emeritus of ECS and a true trailblazer in the design of integrated circuits and systems. It's an honor to be Ernie's Berkeley colleagues, and I thank him and Bettine for making this splendid occasion possible. We are delighted today that Bettine, uh, uh, Ernie's sister Susan, his sons uh, Tony and Ted uh, are here. And uh, I think uh, Tony will, develop, uh, will deliver a few remarks on Ernie's behalf in a moment. We're also delighted that some of Wayne's family, his wife Joanne and uh, daughter Tiffany are here. Tiffany is a grad student in bioengineering here at Berkeley, continuing this tradition. And she just finished her quads, is that correct? So congratulations, Tiffany. <laughs> okay, uh, I'd like to welcome Tony onto the stage to say a few words. Please, Tony. Well, thank you, Shankar. Uh, it's really a pleasure to be here. Um, my dad, he's been here almost, uh, he first came to UC Berkeley in 1956, so it's been almost uh, 60 years. So um, my parents talked about this and they decided to endow this lectureship series. And uh, let me just say a few words about this. So. You know, I, I talk to my dad quite a bit, and you know, on many occasions he tells me, well, Tony, you need to look at the bigger picture. And for a while I didn't under, quite understand what he meant by that. But then, you know, over the years I've seen and grown, and um, I see everyone so busy these days, especially in the College of Engineering here. Uh, we all have to solve a number of important tasks. Some of these are small tasks, but they're very important to do, and we sometimes lose uh, focus and, uh, about what the bigger picture is. So whether you're a student, you're cramming for an exam, you have to learn some difficult equations, or you have to understand some uh, complex algorithm, or even as a faculty member, you're working on a paper uh, with a student or colleague, you have to make sure that the results are presented accurately and correctly, and you have to make sure that the presentation is appropriate and properly nuanced. Or you're even a, um, a university administrator, you have uh, daily tasks that you have to accomplish with your uh, staff and other faculty. So, you know, we lose sight of sometimes this bigger picture. So I think this lecture helps us to maybe paint part of this picture by um, looking, taking a step back, exploring a little bit about um, you know, what is going on in the broader context of things. So these distinguished lecturers provide uh, a views of their experiences and give insights and also maybe provide some inspiration about different topics in uh, engineering and technology. So we're very pleased today to have uh, Dr. Wayne Dye uh, talk. 
Um, Wayne was a student of my father's, and we are close family friends. So I also like to uh, give special thanks to Shankar and his staff for arranging and organizing this event. And finally, I'd like to thank the audience, especially the students, for coming here today. So thank you. Yeah, it's my uh, privilege now to introduce uh, Wayne. Uh, you know, in this uh, job, it's uh, really a privilege to meet many remarkable people and business leaders from around the world. Few, however, can rival Wayne's vision and skill as the CEO of VeriSilicon Holdings. Wayne is founder, chairman, president, and CEO of VeriSilicon Holdings. He was the co-chairman and CTO of Celestry Technologies, which was acquired by Cadence, <clears throat> Cadence Design Systems in 2002. He was elected as one of the uh, top 10 venture-backed entrepreneurs in China in 2005 and was elected as one of the top 10 talents of science and technology in China in 2005. In 2007, he was recognized as the Ernst and Young Entrepreneur of the Year in China. Before starting VeriSilicon, Dr. Dai was a professor in the Baskin School of Engineering at UC Santa Cruz. He's published over 100 papers in technical journals and conferences, and he was also an NSF Presidential Young Investigator in 1990. He currently plays a leadership role in the Berkeley Shanghai Club, and has also been an unwavering supporter of the college's activities in Shanghai and throughout China. Uh, I'm sure a lot of us here have actually been uh, uh, guests of his at the Berkeley uh, Shanghai Balls, and those are really spectacular events. I believe Wayne is one of the most passionate and dedicated alumni we have. So thus, it's with great gratitude and delight that I welcome Wayne Dye to share with us his far-reaching ideas. Wayne. Thank you, Dean Sestri. Um, <clears throat> today, actually, is the New Year Day. Um, so in Mandarin, yang means horned animal. But I don't know if you know, is this the year of sheep, <laughs> goat, or ram? Now, I think in USA today they call year of sheep. In the Wall Street Journal they call year of goat. <laughs> but daily news simply call uh, the year of any remnant horned animal. <laughs> actually, this morning President Obama actually gave a greeting. He didn't specify. He said, doesn't matter which is the year of he don't know is a sheep or goat or ram. <laughs> so let, let me take a vote, see who be, how many people think this is the year of sheep. <laughs> yeah, about 15 people. How many people think the year of a goat? Oh, so we have more, more people. That was, how many people think the year of ram? Oh. <laughs> That's surprising. <laughs> but I think the correct answer is probably year of goat because in the southern part of uh, China, uh, I don't know if you know the goat as is they can climb very well. So this is because in the in the in the history of China, China this is how they define this. Thing. So I think uh, probably most likely in China. So um, it is, you probably didn't know that they have very special skill the master of rock climbing. So starting a company is like a climb rock. Okay, um, so as, a, uh, as, as you know, I got the tenure of four professors at UC Santa Cruz in the only two secure job in the US, federal judge and tenure professor, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, um, so president have term and the CEO can be fine today. So, so giving up tenure is a big deal, right? So why I do this? So it's, um, now, there's something to do with the China market. Um, the China IC market, at, at the time I started, there only is about 6.7% worldwide market. It's not a big. Right then, 205 become, already exceed the US, 2010 ex exceed the US, Japan combined, and this year is three times the US market. 
So that, that, that's huge. Okay. However, China import more ICD than oil. You know, look at the, the, the supply, only 10% only or so, right? You, you compare with the, the flow. So this is the market option. If you have market, right, if you don't have technology, technology will come, right? If you don't have money, money will come. So that is the key thing is this market, right? And uh, truly, you see, 201, I started a company. This is how the semiconductor grows, right? And of course, on the way, there's lots of government policy. And recently, next five years, China government already allocated 100 billion US dollars, no way in the world have this kind of funding, to invest uh, China semiconductor only, manufacturing design. So that's huge, okay? This is number of fabulous company in China. Now this year actually already 2014 already see 600. I think U.S. probably 200, Taiwan 200. Or is it not? Maybe lots of them, maybe small, maybe not go anywhere, but the talent pool is huge. Something, nothing wrong with engineers. That means over the last 10 years, there's a huge talent pool developed. Combined with the capital, China going to put in the next five years. That's the golden years. So for the semiconductor China. Right, you can see when, by the time we started, we have 200. Um, now, our company currently have 500 employees, 70% dedicated at R&D. You see, we don't have fab, we don't do manufacturing, only design. And they're based in Shanghai, in the, this building, uh, in the Zhangjiang High Tech Park. So, by the way, the, this park has more than 2,000 companies. Probably the one closest can duplicate the selling value, okay? Um, then, uh, but however, uh, we're 70% based in Shanghai, however, 70% revenue is come from outside of China. So um, this is your look at, we have three offices in Europe, okay? So now, I'm kind of not talking about specific technology, maybe talk about business model. I call business one point, everyone knows you need to sell product, the company the product. Um, probably I will not start company just sell one product, okay, to give up 10, 10 years. So product people say 10, just total available market and market share. ASP average sale price, the gross margin, talk about this. This is very traditional. Whenever you come to your first price, ask what product you sell. However, um, recently there's some change. Obviously, I'm going to talk about 2.0 and 3.0. Now, this is the top 10 fabrics company 2013. And the percentage means R&D spending as percentage of revenue. Now, they've grown from 19% in total for to 25%. Some high growth company even 30, 40%. What that means, if your gross margin below 45, 40%, you cannot survive. That's why they need the 50% gross margin. This, those are the company, no fab, no manufacturing, right? It's just purely anti cost. Um, this situation getting worse on the right because the situation only invests more. Now, Whole semiconductor grows to single digit. So what should you say? What's wrong with the industry? You are, you are mature industry. That means you need to get more money back, right? When you mature, but you don't invest more. Look at the deep semi, you actually will invest more. So this is the problem. So, so this is really the thing we see is the current uh, situation with semiconductor because um, the R&D costs so high, even without money. This happened 20 years ago when the manufacturing cost more, then people say, okay, let Taiwan say, okay, not everyone build a fab, I build a fab, let TSMC and you just doing design. So they're called fabulous. Like the last slides I show fab fabulous, right? So those are found way for foundry, 10 years, um, create the industry called the fabulous, no fab, okay? They're actually significant, uh, can contribute the whole industry, like Broadcom, Qualcomm, Mama, uh, Mama, Mama, all those companies. Now, right now, Actually, um, even without fab, design is very expensive. So we need also outsourcing the design also. So we call next wave is design light. We don't say designless. We tell people fabulous designless, they don't have anything to do. So, so, so means design light means you need focus on core competency. You don't do everything yourself, right? So this is uh, probably is, uh, uh, is, is the business model models. And we call silicon platform as a service. So you know SaaS, 
software as a service, right? Um, now, what do we say is no fab, of course, but also we don't brand the product as a service. Uh, service is beauty of service, you don't deny, you don't invest, there's other people's product. And also, uh, you, know, you have limited inventory risk. Okay. Now, this is our, the chip we designed in the Microsoft Xbox, in the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and also uh, Galaxy uh, Chromebook, Chromebox. Chromebox is a video conference from Google, but we never brand those products. We, we not only design and hand manufacture whatever, but that's, that's a new model. We never brand them. Now this is I call the XAS, right? We have software service, platform service, infrastructure service, even security as service. <coughs> service, right? Now, it, let, me, let me give you some examples. So I will get in it. So it's not product. Let me give one example is, um, you know Microsoft Xbox? connect the visual sensing, right? You don't need that, like a Wii, you bound, have a string attached, no string attached, they can um, play the game, but also, if you change your clothes, or go to shopping, they can immediately, the visual sensing your body, you can put on without go to changing room, right? All those things. So this is the easier company. When they started, they only raised $9 million. You know, these days, 10 years ago, Silicon Valley funded maybe 50 A-ROM investment for IC company, now maybe five, one-tenth. To get the money from, for, for startup company, not easy, yeah, 10 years ago. So they only raised $9 million. If they do everything themselves, there's no way, right? So they, from day one, they all also do very simple. All the design, handle all the manufacturing management also. So they, finally, they use use this nine million all the way with the Microsoft, right? They ship actually very well, and also uh, two or three, they sold to Apple, three, 360 million. Now this is the model of design light, right? Doing very well. If they everything do themselves, you cannot have this outcome. Probably run out of money. Um, I, I give you another example. Before I talk this, uh, this is with Google. Is how come will you work with Google, not IC company, not like Apple, right? But Google is not like Apple have put 2,000 people into everything themselves. Google is different. You don't see Google build a big team for IC. So before I say, I give you some background. You know the YouTube, right? YouTube is very good. Video is very important. Uh, YouTube. Actually, YouTube, you can tell 1 billion users and 50% uh, more, more mobile, right? It's YouTube. So you know, if you know the video format, actually, people collect Lloyd, H W C for those so Google don't like that. You don't want to collect loyalty because you're format, video format. So they create, they bought a company, they create a form called VPA, VP9. This is called a web end, okay? So right now the YouTube 4K, 4K is high definition, only support VP9. Sorry, I lost VP9, not support H.264, five, because they need the loyalty, okay? Um, now, so this CES actually, many TV companies actually support that. I just give this background called VPA, VP9. Is the Google response to H.264, H.265 without royalty? Google won the royalty free. Now, but Google is not a company doing ICs, but you need ICs. So, so that's why we will work with Google. They have a Chrome box. This small box have 16 side H high definition video conference. Right now, use Intel i7 with the fan. Use software to decode, encode. Now we actually, so Google said, can you replace that? That's too expensive. Uh, I give you specs, it's one page, but there's no, no detail. You say, can you do this, replace that? Um, actually, we in six and seven months with the design finish, we replace. Now, when we do this kind of job, this service, you do everything. They, they don't tell you how to, you just say, can you do this? So we from complete from spec and we finish the whole thing. And we, before that, we have FPGA board kind of Google software team have to port their software. And, uh, so this is the new model. You see, our custom is not chip company. It's not like someone say, I'm busy, you can you do this job for me. It's really the internet company, right? So, so th this, this is, uh, is very good, this is called 10 t model. So, so Taiwan Guangdao actually place all the, this Google brand chip, first Google brand chip place all the direct variety. You see this new model, this is in the past not like this, right? So this is good. Now, basically when I'm talking about this business model, we do service all the way from spec, from anything, 
they finish the chip. We are the general contract. I go to wafer foundry, go to patch testing. Anything wrong is my responsibility. If we, like a Microsoft Xbox, we ship directly. If you, you, you have to ship on time, we'll cooperate. So we tape out one chip a week. This order in Shanghai, 50 chip a year. With majority of them in the advanced node. And the one thing we are very important, this is all 28. The mainstream, we deal with all the foundry. Many services can only deal with one. If you do TSMC, you cannot do UMC. Do UMC, you cannot do TSMC. We deal with all the foundry, including TSMC. Any given time, I have 15, 17 chip concurrently. Because you can tape out one chip a week, not finish chip one week. You concurrent to 15 chip, maybe four of them, 28. That's all done in Shanghai. So, so the way uh, the engineer actually grows very fast with the delay capability. Now, what that means, I say that in this 2.0, I think you should sell service, sell platform. Look at the internet company, look at Alibaba, they don't have product, right? So, so I think the better way is sell service and sell platform. So very silicon, selling platform service, you sell service. Now, can we do even better than that? What's better than service and the platforms? So, um, so before I talk about that, I like to, before I talk to the business 3.0, I like to mention one thing in the abstract, talk about how you can make this engineering, right? I mean, those people only last 10 years. How come they can do 20 design? And uh, um, when the multinational company come to Shanghai, give 30, 50% increased salary, why don't they leave? Otherwise, you become school. After three years, they all left. So our turnover rate, about less than 5%. That's very, they, in the, we are the first place they will go because our people are doing different variety of designs. So, and also, we acquired a division from LSI eight years ago, dollars based. You know, California company merger with Texas company is sometimes quite a challenge, the culture, right? Different. You see, Shanghai with dollars. So they're not bossy, are you crazy? Right? You, can you? So I remember, the, uh, the first day with Elsa executive when there's so people looking at me, no expression on the face, say you're from our space, right? You're from China, you buy IP. They thought uh, China just steal IP, why you need buy IP? Right, are you going to relocate to Shanghai, right? So it's very strange. I say, well, you cannot force people to stay. They give you, this is the DSP division. They say, they give you DSP, bye-bye, we all leave. Then what, what's, so we screw up. So that, that, then I remember that time, my first talk is very important. I cannot talk about technology. They say, oh, you're from China, China technology. These people from Intel, TR, Motorola, no really respect, right? So I say, when you say something else. So at that time, I remember 9-11. Um, so there's a, a parent from Shanghai that went to U.S. to, to, look, to visit the son, actually died on the plane crash. So there's a jet singer, Chris Walker, in the, Texas. He never been to China, but somehow he saw this news. He so moved. He wrote the song together with Stan, and he said someday he like to sing the song in front of the relative in Shanghai. That time we had very small operation in Santa Carla and a big operation in Shanghai. They said, well, this person is quite good. The relation between U.S. and China. So we sponsor consultation. We invite our employees, customers. The very obvious is the concert very well. So that time I didn't know we we're going to someday I'm going to buy a company from Texas. So this is Chris Walker. So, so that day I just showed, the, I didn't talk about te technology, vision or something. I just showed them, see, we, we had a concert and someone you know, right? So actually, that actually made some change. So they said, well, this company is a little bit different. They think about high-tech company. You, you have a concert, right? It's a small concert. Now also then I saw this ping pong table there. So I, I brought the HR lady, lady, lady from Santa Carla. I say, after my talk, anyone can beat her 10% raise. In the U.S., you use your 3% raise or 5%, no one 10% raise. And the CEO, the first talk, you cannot lie, right? So there are 30 people. So they all practice every day. So they didn't know our HR lady is the national champion in China. They, <laughs> so the U.S. opened the second. There's no way they can beat her. But at least they think this is not like a normal China company, that kind of image. So actually, uh, in two weeks, I want them to come to China. Some people don't have a passport. They never get a country before. They have a passport. They bring 
bring drink water instantly than beef, beef, beef jerk to, to Shanghai because they worry about if there's no meat, right? No, no test. So, so we start from that position, but now no one left in eight years. That's amazing. They're very productive, the, the, the DSP team, right? We have really, really, okay. So, so of course in Bay Area for the last 10 years, we have a very civic income. Now, in the, especially during the downtown 208, so you know there's a two things for staff company, instant noodle and the ping pong table, right? The ping pong table is easy to, to, to exercise. You don't need, a, you, need you don't need, a, yeah. So, so that time, I think we, for the last 10 years, we sponsored that, doing very, very well, okay? So this is actually show you the, the, the culture, how to integrate. So, we, so I had to go to Christmas party in Dallas, in the Santa Carla, in the China, you had three places to go. So we integrate quite well, and the, um, the, the team uh, quite well. Now, in, in terms of, and the, we also have office in Nice, France, Europe. Last year is the fifth anniversary of normalization between China and France. So we invite French artists to, to paint this 12 meter high, long, 2 meter high in one hour with all the or the, uh, or the, 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 the symphony in Shanghai, and also the pianist born in Shanghai, educating in Paris, actually did a great job. So, so for example, like this, we usually have those coach events, right? And I think uh, uh, after the show, I think someone come to me say, very silicon is uh, Alibaba in semiconductor. No, I, <laughs> so I never, I will never receive this kind of comment if we don't have this show, right? So this is some kind of branding, it's doing well, well. So this show is very interesting that our Shanghai engineer, where they come from, their hometown, I cannot go to everywhere to recruiting, right? They go to top university from the hometown, you can see everywhere, right? Every, everywhere, so uh, only 12% from Shanghai. So, um, and uh, so our slogan actually is fair, care, and share, and cheer. We didn't say work hard. A lot of China companies, you see, when you walk to office room, there's a big slogan saying you have to work hard. But if you if you happy, of course you can work hard. So, so we are very fair. Uh, my driver and the receptionist has stock options. In China, you usually not have case. Maybe bottom you don't have stock options. So we we uh, share is very important because um, if the senior engineer will not willing to training the junior ones, then we have real problem. Right? So usually our junior one, senior in two or three years, three years they can do 28 nanometer design. And you know how we look recruiting. It, when we go to, today I saw the Xi'an Jiao Jiao Tong University visit here. So usually my first stop is usually Xi'an. Uh, okay, so, so usually I walk into, I will have microelectronic engineer only, master degree and above. We don't take undergraduate. Usually 300 people, sometimes more, in the room. I cannot interview. So I give a talk. Usually I, I want to go to campus to talk. And then right there we have reading exams immediately after my talk. Reading exam means you want to do circuit design or you want to do logic design. You have four positions, you have four different tests actually. You form different row. And after test, say you go home, have dinner and open your cell phones. So we will give you before midnight if I want to invite next day to come for interview. Maybe usually around 80 people come back for the face-to-face -face interview. How interview, we have a whole team. The, 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 the first line manager, cross, and the VP, me, and the HR, the English test. By five o'clock, second day, we give the, give the offer. We usually take maybe 15 people. So this kind of screening, very difficult to do in the US. For example, analog circuit, if people want design, you need to do two year layout first before you do analog circuit. So what that means, when you do analog circuit, you have better feelings. If you're too busy, you do layout yourself, see? We have fresh working force. So this is a very good quality. Um, now, I think that this is very important by the two examples I give to you. We have a paradigm sh shift. These days, everyone go around the internet company. If Google say, I don't buy server from IBM, IBM have the open power. They sell you the chip, sell you the ball. Right, this is a whole uh, paradigm shift. So sometimes I think technology innovation is important, but sometimes the business model is uh, this is this is the business model innovation. Um, I, I don't know if the Chinese New Year last couple of days, you know this we we, we WeChat, right? The WeChat. Wow, they, this is like a red envelope. A huge, huge. So that night everyone just shake it and try to get the 
right now, the money is, is huge, right? So, so the, the, those are, you can tell, this is the way how the, how the business model changes. Now, of course, we have business 3.0. Better yet, not only sell service and platform, you sell experience. Now, I don't know if you heard of Xiaomi. Xiaomi, this is only four years, not everyone heard this. They funded in 2010, right? So they already evaluated 46 billion US dollars, the most expensive private company. It's close to Toyota. I don't think they have many pat pat patterns. How come? You have the four-year internet company grow that high. Like just one year, they almost increased 4.6 times. Now, let, look, 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 look at the cell phone. Last year, they sell, sold 61 million cell phones. Right? And the uh, 12.3 billion revenues and the users, 85 million users. And they think this year they can sell 100 million. So China already number one. Uh, Apple has certain fans, they're probably more stable, but other. So China brand ones are like Huawei, they all come up. So this is very important. And uh, recently, they introduced a note, the big screen. That's interesting. They only sell internet, three million. Three minutes when opening, sell 2.2 million. Of course, no middleman, no, no channel cost, of course, this can save lots of money. But you need a fence, right? How come you can have three minutes to sell that many? Right? Did this, look, look at the spec, actually not bad. $370. This spec is very close to the most. And the quality, the, the, the case design is excellent. Right? So, now, how, how they, so, so, so how, how they do this? Basically, they, lots of things they learn from Apple, very for Steve Jobs, the quality, the, or whatever. But one thing is different from Apple is the user has the sense of participation. They have hundreds of developers, source of softwares. Now they release software every week. Can you imagine how you can release software every week? Right, every Monday they do R&D, develop, Tuesday, so Friday they do new release. Tuesday, some user get the feedback. They quickly fix something. So this is really from the, all the feedback. So you have the whole ID team, you have whole QA. You are your customer, you are QA. Okay, so, so you can see 100 developers, they have 1,000 maybe the more core people. Those people are very experienced, right, through the early test. Then you have 10,000, this can't grow like this, okay. So people feel happy. If I report a bug, you fix. They don't complain, right? They even feel proud. Or, you, or they have some suggestion, right? There, of course, you have to check. Now, all the notes, they post those notes. Maybe last four years, the notes could be go around the whole earth. There's lots and lots of them, right? So this is different the way. This, this is how way they have fans. Because this kind of feeling that you cannot do with Apple like this. So everyone participates, especially young generation. They like, they like this. Okay. And basically, you have all the smart, you can use all the people, and you have lots of QAs, a lot of development, right? So that's why you can see how they grow over the year, four years. They grow very fast, the base. Now, i give you another example of the, the reverse man. Recently, they start to sell in the U.S., $13. In the U.S., probably $100, right? Or $80. 30 days, battery is 30 days. Look at the industrial design, it's very good quality, very nice looking. I think they hire uh, uh, industrial design from the, the, the Nest in, in, in this area, in design, okay? It's, they're not cut corner. Usually, Santa is cut corner, cheap, it's not like this. This is like they learn from Apple, so you really need good quality. And uh, now, not only count your step, after a certain step a week, you can win a free coupon to take a tax so you can, this $13 can make money, right? So um, or, or some other thing like unlock the phone, because in China, the average, you need 80 times type the password a day. So this one, within certain very short distance, you unlock, so you become your ID. Now, the reason they do this is not just sell this man to make money. They want this to become your ID, not just come your step. For example, you go to shopping mall. You look at certain items for a long time means you really interested. They immediately begin their search. Are you the real good VIP customer? Not a random person. 
If you, you are the VIP customer, you me send you a message for you only for today only, give you 20% discount. Right? This is reasonable. So, so they pick an idea, or, or you walk in the TV, they op immediately jump to the TV station you usually watch. So they become your small home discount kind of ideas. Okay? So they, they, they did quite well, this one. Um, and also, this is the IP camera, this is called smart homes. About $30. Very nice looking IP cameras. Thank you for the everyone. Now, by the way, right now, I already use this one because I first I talk about this, the experience people, right? They're really not using the platform, also the user experience. All I need is a very sitting inside, see? They're all set, right? Th those need ICs, so. Um, now, I think right now, very important, when I uh, come to Ber Ber Berkeley, I, I did a two-year physics in Shanghai Jiao University undergrad, then come to computer science here in the graduate school. Um, there we talk about computers. Now we not only computer scientists, it's also data scientists. We're all about data. You look at the generation. It used to be Nokia, very solid hardware, right? <laughs> then you have this, uh, the, 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 the Apple wants to read the software apps. Now I think data is more important. So we need, uh, need a data scientist, we need the information in you as well, like uh, computer engineers, okay? So, so this is the key my message, I say, we need to look at the business model, right? Like I say, we need to look at both, not just talk about product. We need to look at the service <coughs> and the platform, like Verizon does, and then let's sell experience. So probably I will try to quickly speak, I want to use some question for, for the for people. So IoT, I would um, probably, um, yeah, I would. Now, IoT, IoT is in, uh, the um, Internet of Things. So this is like a PC, the smartphone, the next big things. However, um, we need to be, be very, very careful. For now, I just mentioned two, two things. A lot of watch is black watch. You cannot have black watch. The black watch you don't want to wear. So the display is very important. The Qualcomm has technology, one-tenth of power. That's why all still is about tech technology. Even though we talk about internet coming to well, the fundamental analog, IF design, those are still the key. This, the battery, you cannot improve that much. This is the, the display technology is MEMS, one-tenth, especially bright sunlight, actually, they, they really reflect it doing very well. We also with a work company with this uh, fingerprint. You know, the swap is 1D, 2D is press, but you can fake the iPhone with, with rubbers, right, very easily. But this is ultrasound. This is the smallest ultrasound machine, like valleys, they're doing very well. Because I think key thing is security. This is the big problem, right, okay? But we all depend on technology. So, so we have many electric engineers here, so we still need the, now, the last point I want to make is, we know this is the big thing, but we need to be careful, right? So if, because the market is so, Fragmented. If if we're not doing right, you will become right, the company will become an idiot. So you you will see many companies will die. Right, this one. But but this also gives us. Well, for us for the service, I can do twenty watch, thirty watch. But it's a one survive, I will survive. So the last remark for the student here, I think is the key thing. You need to do some reading every day. Right now is the short man message. They don't do really reading study, right? When we used to look at the pictures, you, you can see the numbers because we are the engineers. That we like to see numbers. You can see the difference. You just make tiny progress every day to reap a big harvest after year. Okay, thank you. So we'd like to invite questions from the audience, and we're going to give first preference to the students. Uh, so we have the incentives. I brought some calendar. This is unique. We made a calendar that has both China and the U.S. holidays. <laughs> so for you interested in China, or you get back for this is unique, you cannot buy this calendar. So whoever asked the questions, you got this calendar. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you got a name, major, and uh, Name, major, and year, and then you get a calendar. You get a calendar in return. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
My name is Salvin Patel. I'm a second year EECS major, so part of HKN, hence the shirt. Uh, my, my question was, uh, you introduced a lot of these interesting products and a lot of innovations uh, that are meant for the general public, but what do you think is the major hurdle from introducing these as sort of a research product or, or a novelty to like having them introduced to the general public and having everyone have, say, a smart watch or a smart ID? Yeah, the, like I say, there's a very, uh, the battery is a big, big problem because you cannot charge watch every day or every week, even, right? This is not the way. You cannot have a watch black. This is not. So there's a huge problem, the, 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 the display problem. And also, why Wi Fi? Look at the Wi Fi right now. Even though your block of Qualcomm are available for so many years, but smart home, you don't need a high data rate. Can you optimize the cost power if with low data rate, even BGN, right? So you, you need to think about different. If you work the same problem, probably cannot beat all those guys, right? But you maybe you can think about special things just for Wi-Fi for smart home. So still have lots of innovation you can do, yeah. Hi, oh. Hi, my name's Karen and I'm a freshman EX major. You mentioned like we should make tiny progress every day by uh, doing our own reading. Do you have any recommended reading list? <laughs> <laughs> So, so I think, um, so I met my wife in the terminal room at Collie Hall. So I don't remember, I studied undergrad, graduate, never went to party at all, right? <laughs> so so we, we don't read other major uh, novels. My, my, my daughter knows, I mean, the li li literature well. So when I, that's why you see I have the counsel, all those things. You can be not necessarily reading is the um, reading technical book. Of course, you need to read a book, but you need to broaden things, right? I think uh, the, the science, and the, the art, right? Also even the, the, the business side, I think we need it. That's why I talk about business 3.0, right? How did you go about putting uh, together name, your... Name, name, name. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm John. I'm a fifth year PhD student in computer science. I'm wondering how you went about uh, putting together your initial engineering team. Okay, um, actually I'm the only returnees. Uh, my industry team you know, uh, is all lo 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 local. I think the, um, so I think this first the team we, we form is first I don't recruit, at the beginning I never recruit fresh graduates, right, because you have a base, you have the experience. So there's, there's some multinational companies send those people to the U.S., send a two-year contract. If you leave within two years, you have to find money. So I, pay all the monies. I'd rather get a very initial team. This is very important. If you start with 18, so I have a theory. 18, right, usually we're not high C team. B team, maybe if they're more open, we're high A team. But B team, probably we're not high B team. B will high C, C will high D. So you start with B team, then, so the company, you know this, have to know where. So initially, the team had to be 18. Maybe you small, that's fine. You have to be 18. That's how we, we determine the current future. So our first team, I remember this 10 or so people, most people still there, right? So this is very important in the how to make. But also I think the mix, I had some other company, you cannot student only. You need some mix of students, PhD students have fresh graduate, also have some people have working experience, so you can mix. So I made some mistake that all my PhD students start company, then probably cannot work well. Hi, I'm Alan, uh, a second year EX and Bio E major. I'm, are you sorry? Okay, um, I was uh, curious uh, for in the, your description of the Internet of Things, what your vision for it is, namely, um, do you think there will be a serve in every home? Um, is it going to be focused around watches in particular, or are there going to be other uh, more uh, large opportunities across the horizon? So I think the first wave is wearable. Like I say, the why show me work on that? You need identification, right? When you control smart home, you need ID. But second, smart home, then you you have smart cars. And like smart cars are very important. So um, uh, the the surveillance is, is very important because everyone they, they have. A, but you need a, you don't need with charge. You want battery operated, right? Half year to change that. That's very challenging. 
how you can do that, right? There's a lot to learn from. So it's not just wearable. I think the wearable is more maybe the start with wearable, then next with smart home, then smart car. My name is Joey, first year graduate student, mechanical engineering. Uh, you talk about Internet of Things, but where do you see the opportunities between China and the United States, especially in terms of hardware manufacturing? Thank you. You see, the, um, China has built market. For example, they, they have a respect tracking kit, only two functions. GSM talk, they cannot type, right, for five years old, right? But they have only one kit, so they need so, so social networking too. So the parents can say they only can talk to this five friend. So they will wear because otherwise they cannot talk, right? Then you can track in the lo location for safety in port. You know, China have one kid, two parents, four grandparents, <laughs> six to one, right? They, isn't, it, they do whatever, if anything good for kids' safety and education. Um, China have more kids than the whole Europe probably, right? So, so they, that's the market, right? There's certain things. So this can drive this, of course you need to be low cost and also very friendly, right? So, so those things, there's certain things, like the, the Xiaomi happened in China, probably not in the US, that's the reason. But they need a lot of technology from the US. From the Xiaomi use the ADI, the MEM sensor, mm -hmm. the military sensor, very expensive, they're willing to pay because the lowest power, right? They, they got this uh, from ADI, right? So, so they, you, this is usually, you, need, you cannot be China technology, China cost. You want to be US technology, China cost. And that's why we have an office all, all over the place. So we still have more calendars. You know. uh, hi, I'm Rick, uh, first year student. Um, so we're starting to run up against the physical limits of how many silicon we can actually jam on a chip. Do you think that this is going to be a limiting factor on all these Internet of Things devices and Okay, this is a very big, big, big question. I, you know, below 28, more slots stretch. I'm not saying stop, because per cost per transistor increases, not decrease, for the first time in the last 50, 40 years. Right, so you can see we have trouble with the 20 nanometer, the thing fat is very expensive. By the way, thing fat is a great invention here. So we have some alternative te 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 technology, like uh, FDSOI and the other things, low power. But for internet things, it's not necessary. Either. For the thing fat, it's not easy to do analog <coughs> and, the, and the IF. For now. now, another thing I like to mention, people say everything integrated. For the thing fat, maybe for GPU, CPU, lay the two chip right in one chip solution. You don't need to put everything in one chip. So maybe certain things embedded fresh, other analog, IF, maybe another chip. Maybe, may, maybe 28 is the most you want to go. Rather than think back. So, so we need to think about not only SOC, but as SIP also, system in package, right? Uh, and more, you need to look at that direction, not just everything put on one chip is the best way. Not necessarily everything you need to think back, especially IoT. Hey, I'm Niles, Fulbright Scholar here in Nix, and I'm a PhD candidate, final year PhD candidate from University of Hong Kong. So uh, I just want to ask, so you say IoT is actually the next big thing, but this concept has been there for like two decades already. Like 20 years ago, people talk about, start talking about IoT. And there were times where people think that's just like completely BS, it's not, it's not gonna happen anyway. But now it's coming back again. But it's still, it's like in a development process. So I'm trying to ask, so what is the single problem that you believe, that the single most important, pro important problem in technology that has to be solved before we can see really IoT prospering. Thanks. Yeah, anything you cannot do too early, cannot do too late. Some of the technology, the power and all this, right? The IF technology, whatever, it's not there yet, right? So now I think at the time, in the fresh IF, the cost, right, uh, can drive to, you can make some, but wearable, you cannot wear a big thing. For example, watch, the area is limited, you cannot too thick, the battery, the other things. Yeah, there's certain time, certain thing will happen. So I think this is, even though we have challenges getting there, but you cannot do five, 10 years ago, right? 
So I think, uh, like I say, the web, the, uh, the smartphone, of course, everyone knows you, you have a smartphone. The watch, people wait for a Apple to come out. The watch probably will set some uh, duration. I didn't mention detail like uh, healthcare is very important, mm -hmm. right? So China has lots of el elderly. They, Chinese customers, you don't want to send those people to some senior house. So you have to distance in-house care. So lots of kids you walk outside, you need to have monitoring, sensor, so there's huge applications. Right? There's a real need, the kids' safety, right? We need to identify certain needs. Right? The wearable, I think average only wear nine months the most. People don't wear anymore. They say, I know how many steps I walk. Mm -hmm. See how to keep people wear the wearables. So this they, 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 is a challenge. Right? If they don't feel any incentive, why need always wear them? Right? So if, you, so if they have the incentive, so those are still quite a challenge, but I think we can do that. That's why I think uh, it's a very fragmented. The, the IoT is not easy to do. Some one company, will, many companies will die. Right? Very fragmented. For example, the wristband. No, all the fit, or no one sell 10 million units, only a few million units. I think the first company, I bet on Xiaomi, the wristband, will sell 10 million units. Right? If you look careful how they do this. So, so this is the marketing part, not necessarily just the, uh, the, the, te the technology side. So I think if you see the wristband, they can sell 10 million units. You must have some reason why people wear it. Okay. Mr. Wayne, this has uh, been a fantastic uh, afternoon with you, as I knew it would be. So it's a wonderful talk. Uh, on behalf of the college, I'd like to present you with a small remembrance of today's event. It is going to be presented by, maybe you should come in front so we can uh, <laughs> get it recorded. On, uh, <laughs> it, it recognizes our deep appreciation for your commitment to the college as the 2015 Ku Distinguished Lecturer. Many thanks to you. Thank you. <laughs> if you want to shake hands. <laughs> Thank you to Ada Kapanu, our student co-sponsors, and most especially to Ernie and Bettine Kuhn for providing this outstanding uh, forum. Uh, the whole event has been recorded, and it'll be on the college website, and we'll send Ernie a, a CD of uh, the lecture. So thank you all for being with us today, and go Bears.